All right, guys. Uh, winch cable repair on the trail. I've been seeing a lot of guys take their winch cable that was broken, and they loop it back like this, and they put a bunch of cable clamps down there, and it, it works. It's it's not the best way. Cable clamps come apart. They bind up on stuff. It, it's not that great. So uh, I've seen it a lot actually. And I just broke this cable off of that tree or that I'm dismantling over there and I thought of this so I said, nah, what the hell. So you take your cable and if it's all together you, you beat on it with a hammer and kind of get it to fray apart like this. And what you're going to want to do is look at it and see how many strands are in which. So I got four on this side and I got three on this side, which is perfect. You'll take it, unwind this sucker. Give yourself a quite a bit of cable here. Let's say about 18 inches or so. I got four there. Yeah, there's four there. Looks like so much more on the one side with one extra strand. All right, so you're gonna take it like this. Ah, make ourselves a nice little tight eyelet. What you're gonna to wanna to do is look at it and get it to splice into itself, kinda. Of. And whenever you get that nice little splice into itself, then you pull that on through. All right. And what you're going for is when these come back down together, you're going to have a tail. All right. So now when this is woven through all the way down, this is going to take a couple times. I've been doing this for a long time. The guy taught me how to run cranes. He... He made me do this for fun. That and load charts. <laughs> if I wasn't running, I was splicing or I was load charting. I guess it really shouldn't just go for winches. This could also go on the operator page for apprentices. To do in your spare time. Because while this isn't doesn't make a legal choker, what it does make is a great throwaway cable for stuff that you probably shouldn't be doing but we use it on the tugboat a lot because the tugboat was just relentless on destroying stuff okay so now you get down here to your end you want to make it nice and pretty and splice these two together find out where it's going to lay now I probably should have cut this thing off and got rid of all these broken wires and stuff. It would have, would have made this a lot prettier. But for demonstration purposes, it ain't going to hurt us any. And it still ends up being pretty just with a bunch of broken cables that you cut your cut yourself on. All right. So that's called the old Molly Hogan. Now she's together real good. Ain't ever going to come apart. Uh, you could put one cable clamp or all I really like to do is just wrap a bunch of black tape around here. And you don't need that long of a uh, the leg coming off there. Probably about half of that's probably about right, but it doesn't matter. It's so black tape so this thing can't spread apart. And that's some bitch just the strongest factory right there. All right, cheap trail side cable fix.